Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today's video will be a quick one about my current thoughts on determinism, which is a belief that all events, including human action, are ultimately determined by causes regarded as external to the will. Some philosophers have taken determinism to imply that individual human beings have no free will and cannot be held morally responsible for their actions. And I would like to mention I'm not trying to make any objective claims here because of my current lack of knowledge and experience. So if you have any debugs or counters, then I would appreciate a comment or you can join my Discord server, which is on my YouTube page. But before you do that, make sure to watch the video and hear my thoughts, just so you have an idea of what I believe. I will be arguing for determinism in this video, because that's what I personally believe and that's what I believe all the evidence and reasoning point to. But before we start that, I think we have to talk about materialism, because if we do determine that the mind is immaterial, then there is a big factor against determinism. And if you determine that um, the mind is material, then that is massive against free will. Um, so to start off, one of the main arguments of immaterialists is that they say that the mind interacts with the laws of logic, which are immaterial, then that means the mind is also immaterial. But I would disagree with this for two reasons. One, I wouldn't say the laws of logic are things, I think they are just laws and rules, and they don't apply to uh, the constraints of material or immaterial. Um, and I think that's just, it's just a name for how the universe works. And two, the mind also interacts with immaterial things, just like double set experiment. Therefore, that would make it material. Um, that's why I sort of don't agree with if they interact with something that, that makes it the same thing, especially when it um, is in terms of the mind or the laws of logic. And I would also like to mention that the laws of logic interact with everything in the universe, which includes material things. So, like, all of physics, like, all of biology, like, it, literally anything. So it's not a thing in existence, but a law, a rule. And saying that, if the laws of logic interact with something, that makes it immaterial. You're just making a sort of paradox, saying that everything material is immaterial. So that's the main two reasons why I don't agree with the laws of logic argument. And there are many other reasons to why I think the mind is material such as both nurture and nature having an impact on people's personalities, as well as injuries to the brain can cause changes in personality. But I won't go too into detail um, on those because I want to focus on determinism, so I will keep materialism for a future video. So with that being said, I'll just get into my main reasoning for determinism and against the arguments of free will. Firstly, I want to talk about the want argument. Um, so, which is just in a situation where somebody would say we use free will, for example, choosing between orange juice and apple juice, the one factor determining what you choose to drink is quite obviously which one you want to drink. Are you choosing which one you want to drink? No, of course not. But say we find something in the human brain that allows us to choose what we want. We still can't choose what we want to want. And this cycle can go on forever, given the conclusion that whenever we choose something freely, there will always be a factor out of our control and that factor can range from your genes and your bloodline, your upbringing, your past experiences, etc. But none of these options will be free will if you keep going down the cycle of causality. But say that you do something that you don't want to do because you saw this video and wanted to prove to me that you have free will so you go out and do something that you don't want. Well there's the exact same problem. The only reason you were doing this action is because, is because you want to prove to me that you have free will and you can't control that you want to do that. Every action that we determine as free, or determined by free will, is something that you want to do. I mean, every single action. And if you don't want to do it, then it's out of your control, you're forced to do it, etc. So if every action is determined by a want, and we can't determine our want, then every action is not determined by free will. I also want to bring up the fact that if you reverse time to either the beginning of the universe or just to last Tuesday, most people who believe in free will would say that all actions would appear differently, but as I am a current believer in determinism, I would disagree with this. Say you choose to ride a bus instead of walk to work on Tuesday. That action is based on your want to ride a bus being bigger than your want to walk, and that is based on, for example, your past experiences of having a bad time walking to work, and that is perhaps based on your natural instincts from your genes to dislike that experience, and so on and so on. 
It's an endless cycle once again in every example. So let's go back to materialism. Even if you prove to me that we do have a soul that determines morality, and it's not just based on the brain, then we have the exact same problem of saying a brain determines morality. If we can't control our desires, then we do not have free will. If we can't control what our soul wants, then we do not have free will, once again. But even if all this video doesn't convince you, um, just because I'm, I'm saying things that don't mean anything, you feel like you can just pick up this cup beside you, that you have free will because of this. Well, not exactly, because even in science and psychology, there has been multiple tests, multiple studies that have shown uh, that decisions that aren't like instinct, that aren't like reaction time based, um, can be in our brain 10 seconds before we actually do them and before we actually decide to do them. But I don't want to say like, or the study pros or science shows so I will um, link a few sources in the description but I, I don't think I could put links so I'll just say the author you know and that is the basis of my argument um, right now I can't really think of anything else to say I mean I've done the psychological part and I've done the philosophical part uh, but leave any arguments or debunks in the comments or in discord I'll respond to everyone I can but thank you for watching to the end. Uh, if you enjoyed or learned something new, then I'd appreciate a like. If you want to see some more content like this, then please subscribe. Just me and Vixen. Peace.